Do you have a resume that a potential employer would consider lacking? Or do you get nervous just before doing a job interview? Here's the thing. The need for resumes and face-to-face -face interviews or any interviews for that matter is diminishing in certain sectors, especially those sectors that are looking for work from home employees. That said, here are 11 high paying work from home jobs that will bypass the traditional resume and interviewing process and has the potential to pay as much as $65 per hour. And here's the best part. Some of them are available across the globe. Work, 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 work. It's me, I'll be work, 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 work. It's me, do me. It's so great to have you back on the Rockstar Academy. Thank you so much for your loyalty. And if you are a Patreon subscriber, a Patreon club member, or a YouTube member, I appreciate your support. The first company on our list where you can actually get a job without a resume or an interview is with a company that I have spoken about in past videos, but never from this perspective. The job here on our list is a search engine evaluator and the company is Appen. Appen is a technology company that specializes in data for AI development. And in this capacity, you will be evaluating the accuracy of search engines. You will be able to earn about $22 per hour according to Glassdoor and some of the pros is the flexible working hours, the technological experience that you're gonna gain that will help you to add value to future roles but there are cons to include project availability because this may vary so you may not be able to earn this $22 consistently per hour. They pay with direct deposits or with Payoneer. The frequency of pay is monthly and the websites I'm going to put on Patreon and I'm also going to put them on YouTube for members. But I'm going to pop them up here as usual so everybody will have access. Just listen carefully, watch the screen and you'll be able to find this platform to apply without the use of a resume and without any expectations that you'll be doing an interview. And this particular website is appen.com. Now I'm going to rank these based on suitability and I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. Why? Because it's going to give you good technological experience, especially related to AI, which is the way of the future. And also it pays decent money. I'm dropping off the two points because that payment is not consistent but for the most part Appen is a reputable brand for you to work for. Now the second job on our list that you can actually do without an interview and without preparing and submitting a resume is with Arise.com and the job is that of a customer service representative. Now Arise, they have been around since 1994 and they are known for connecting businesses with customer support representatives. In this capacity, you will be providing customer support from home, obviously, to some of Arise customer base. As per Glassdoor, you'll be able to earn about $16 per hour and some of the pros include your ability to work a flexible schedule because you are not working in office you're working from home there's no commute to work you don't have to dress up or you can dress up like me in pajama pants crocs and then fix up the top because that's all that's going to show on camera assuming your customer service role allows you to be on camera the majority will just require you to be on phone and some of them even required just for you to chat with customers with no phone contact for the most part. But there are cons. The fluctuating work volume because you are a contractor. So there's no guarantee that you'll be able to work 40 hours per week. You will also encounter some difficult customers as is expected in customer service because not everybody will be happy. Arise pays their independent contractors with direct deposits to their actual bank accounts. And typically the payment is bi-weekly or monthly. 
but this depends on the client that you are assigned to when working for arise.com i'm gonna rank this one a nine out of ten because i find that many people out there don't need prior experience to succeed in customer service and 16 dollars working from the comforts of your home is not bad at all but you can tell me in the comments what your thoughts are now the third job on our list where you don't need to do an interview or submit a resume is as a content writer and this is working for a company called Contently. Contently is known for paying higher rates when compared to many other content platforms that are out there which is why it made this list. Writers can expect to earn anywhere from 50 cents to a dollar per word. It doesn't sound like a lot rock stars but hold on because it depends on the project and the client but what this means is that for a thousand words in an article which if you are into writing you know it's pretty easy to get to a thousand words that article can potentially pay you anywhere from 500 to a thousand dollars and as i shared in this video here you do not need to be a professional writer or an author to write content the pay will vary based on your experience level and the niche that you're writing for and some of the pros include you need to be creative of course you can use this video to help with that creativity as well you'll have flexible hours which is a good thing so you can work on your own time and the cons include the inconsistency in the workflow again you're not gonna always have work coming in and it's also a very competitive field but I'm not too concerned about the inconsistency which seems to be synonymous with the three that I've covered so far and here is why because I'm recommending this as a side hustle you can do it if you are a student a stay-at-home mom or just someone looking to make a few extra dollars to bridge a gap that you have I'm gonna rank it a 7 out of 10 because of the flexibility but I'm knocking off the three points again because of the inconsistency in the workflow you will be paid via direct transfer to your bank account and the payments are typically within a few weeks after you have completed and gotten approval for each writing assignment. Now this next one on our list was actually new to me. You'll be working in the capacity of a junior trader and again you don't need to do an interview and you don't need to submit a resume. This particular company is a leading platform that connects finance professionals with job opportunities opportunities. What you'll be doing in this capacity as a junior trader is you'll be analyzing financial trades, you'll be managing portfolios and also assisting in investment decisions. So it sounds like a pretty fun job and it sounds like a job that can add value to your own life if you are looking for opportunities to learn how to invest or to manage money. On average, junior traders here this rock stars, they make a about a hundred and forty three thousand US dollars a year but of course when you're starting initially you may start at a lower rate the potential however is there over time so this is one of them that is more like a full-time work from home opportunity here are some of the pros there is obviously the high potential to make a good base salary but there's also potential to earn commissions on top of that you'll also have access to valuable industry resources and an opportunity to work in a thriving industry because everybody out there wants to know and learn how to trade now some of the cons that are on our list is that there is high competition and there's also a lot of pressure to perform that doesn't surprise me because we're talking about the financial industry they pay via direct deposit to your bank account and typically with commissions and salaries it's paid on a monthly basis but this may differ based on the capacity in which you are employed I'm gonna give this a 6 out of 10 
because although it pays pretty well, the demands of working in the financial industry can be great for even the brightest among us. Now, this next opportunity on our list that again does not require you to do an interview or to submit a resume is the job of a UX tester for a company called Playbook UX. The nature of the job is you'll be testing and providing feedback on website designs and you'll be able to earn up to $90 per session and the average session could be anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour and a half. Now some of the pros related to this particular job is the impactful role it will play in improving people's user experience and I know some of you may not care about that because you're really just looking for an opportunity to make money but if you want to do something that's going to add value to people's lives this is an ideal way to to do so. The compensation is also very fair and it really stands out when compared to other platforms out there that's hiring similar talent. It also requires for you to be self-motivated and manage your time because your assignments will be time bound and you need to make sure you get them done so that you can get positive feedback and get additional jobs. They pay via direct bank transfer or they'll use PayPal depending on the capacity in which you are hired. And they actually pay after a project is completed. And I'm gonna give this one a eight out of 10 rating because it's an option for those of us who are keen on website design and user experience because we believe in continuous learning and using this to build our own hustle or our own businesses. Next on our list is the job of an online notary. And in this capacity, you will be notarizing documents, but you will be doing so digitally. Full-time online notaries, they make anywhere from 39,000 to as much as $64,000 a year as per glass door. You will be able to work on a flexible schedule from the comforts of your home because you are not gonna be doing any in-person appointments because you are an online notary and it also has the potential for you to make a steady income. But there are some cons. You will be required to have thorough knowledge and understanding of the state laws for which you are being a notary. You can invoice your client and have them pay in whatever method you want that's also convenient for them. Your frequency of payment obviously is dependent on when you complete a particular task. I'm giving this opportunity a 9 out of 10 because it's a fantastic option for both a full-time opportunity and a side income and it pays decent money. Now the seventh option on our list that doesn't require you to do an interview or to complete and submit a resume is in the capacity of a music reviewer and the company that you'll be working for is slicethepie.com. In this capacity you'll be listening to and reviewing new music. Sounds fun doesn't it? The pay scale ranges from one to twenty cents per review but think about it it does add up but it's not gonna earn you anything substantial so this one definitely has to be a side hustle to help to pay a few bills or even to help with your retirement savings some of the pros is you get paid for listening to music you'll be able to also discover new artists if you're into that kind of thing and it's impactful for those who are aspiring to enter the music industry from a cons perspective is again the compensation varies because the work that you're doing is not going to come to you consistently it can be time consuming listening to music and providing reviews and considering what it's paying it may not be worth it for you but you have to determine that on your own but another con which for me this is a big one is you're going to get exposed to music that's in genres that you possibly don't like. 
They pay via PayPal and they typically process payments twice per week as long as you reach the minimum payout amount. I'm going to rate them a 4 out of 10. One, because it doesn't pay much, but it's still a good side hustle for music lovers. Now, another job that you can do without submitting a resume or ever doing an interview is that of a virtual assistant. And in this capacity, you'll be responsible for admin administrative and organizational tasks. You can apply or create profiles on platforms like Upwork.com or Freelancer.com and the pay scale will differ based on the client that you're working for and also your skill level. But let me give you some context. As an entry-level virtual assistant, you'll be earning anywhere from $5 to $15 per hour and in doing so, you'll be handling like data entry, you'll be managing emails, scheduling appointments, and other basic administrative duties. You can then go to the intermediate virtual assistant level, and this is where now you'll be making anywhere from $15 to $30 per hour, and you'll need to be proficient in specific software, whether it's Microsoft Word, Excel, and others. Bilingual capabilities can help you in this regard as well, and your task will be more complex. It could be social media management, content creation, or customer support. And then there's the experienced or the specialized virtual assistants, and they earn anywhere from 30 to over $50 per hour. This is a high level VA that has a strong portfolio and exceptional skills in things like digital marketing, tech support, bookkeeping, or project management, and also that have a track record of success working for other clients. As with anything else, there are pros and cons. Some of the pros include the diverse tasks, which means you'll be learning something new almost every day. You'll work remotely and your working hours will be flexible. The cons, it's sometimes unpredictable income because you are not working a job, you are more operating as a freelancer. So if you don't have clients hiring you, it may be challenging for you to get paid. The payment method will be contingent on the platform, but usually it's via direct bank transfer, PayPal, or Payoneer. I'm gonna give this one a seven out of 10 because it pays so well and anyone can start at the entry level. Next on our list is the job of an online tutor and you can do so with vipkid.com or keg or cheg however it's pronounced cheg tutors or keg tutors in this capacity you're providing tutoring for various subjects and your potential to earn is anywhere from 14 to 25 dollars per hour some of the pros include the flexible work schedule which is synonymous as you can see with everything I've shared so far but it's also rewarding work because you're imparting knowledge on others and helping them to achieve their full potential cons include the fact that you may need to be certified and that students demand different things from their tutor and some students can be pretty demanding depending on where they are in their educational journey. To get paid, it's either via PayPal or a direct bank transfer and the frequency is usually every month. I'm giving this one a nine out of 10 because if you have teaching skills, there are a ton of platforms as I shared in this video here that you can use those skills to make money online. And the last one on our list is as a data entry clerk and the company is clickworker.com. Now in this capacity you will be performing simple data entry tasks. You'll be able to earn anywhere from nine to fifteen dollars per hour. They pay via PayPal and via SEPA or SEPA bank transfers for those who are in Europe. They pay weekly 
or monthly and this of course depends on the amount that you have earned. I'm gonna rate this one a 6 out of 10 because of the inconsistent work availability and the fact that you can get paid pretty low for some tasks that you will be completing. But that said, it's suitable for those looking for easy and flexible ways to work from home with no commitment and make a few extra dollars. Rockstars, that's it. And if you learned anything new or if you got any value out of this video, I would really appreciate you liking it. And until next time, walk good.